Now let's take a look back at what Bob thought made people laugh. You are now about to witness the strength of Bob Saget. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Bob Saget moments. Oh man, why did I do this? This is what you wait, this is the sound bite you wait for. For this list, we're looking at a few of this late and great comedian's most hilarious appearances in film, TV, and online appearances. What's your fondest memory of Bob Saget? Share your story in the comments below. Number 10. A Neighborly Introduction Entourage Hey, welcome to the neighborhood. Hey, Bob Saget. There he is. Aquaman himself. Both Vincent Chase and the audience were shocked to learn that he was next-door neighbors with none other than Bob Saget. The comedian immediately steals the scene with his quick delivery and hilarious range. Within a span of a few minutes, we see him as one of Vincent's biggest fans, extremely fame-hungry and incredibly fierce. And this fictionalized version of Saget is so cocky that he makes almost every line sound like a huge brag. Make sure she calls me, will you? I just got divorced. Next wife got the house in the Palisades. No biggie. I got four other houses. I don't give a shit. The most brilliant part of the comedian's performance is that it knowingly plays with audience expectations. While viewers might have expected a subdued performance, Saget took a surprisingly great over the top approach. Who do you think's more recognizable, you or me? Seriously. Uh. <laughs> anyway, I've taken up enough of you guys' time. Have fun, enjoy the muffins. Number nine. Opening monologue, Saturday Night Live. Actually, I'm a little bit upset. Full House is canceled. Full House, the sitcom I've been... I know. Calm down. I'm going to talk you through it. Just breathe deep. It's like Lamaze. It's going to be okay. After becoming well-known for appearing in Family Friendly Fair, Saget was invited to host an episode of SNL. While he had a few great sketch appearances, his opening monologue was a definite highlight. Saget uses his stage time to poke fun at how tame the biggest parts of his TV career have been. Actually, I'm very excited to be here, really excited, because normally I'm in family hour, it's prime time, it's 7 o'clock, it's 8 o'clock, and here I get to say words like, like ass, wiener, and nipples. He also uses mature jokes to erase every notion that he might be as innocent as his sitcom character. As icing on the cake of this sweet yet spicy monologue, the comedian has a fantastic and funny interaction with a child actor. Saget's comedic timing and self-referential humor made sure this SNL episode got off to a brilliant start. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm doing a show. Come on. Oh, come on. Wait a minute. Don't wait a minute. No, no. Don't feel bad for him. No, no, don't boo me. Number 8. Saget shares a bed with Stamos. CollegeHumor.com the idea of John Stamos making an instructional video with the best cuddling tips is funny on its own. But we absolutely lost it when we found out that he'd be demonstrating his best techniques with none other than Bob Saget. From this position, she could kiss your neck, caress your gallant chest while you run your fingers through her raven hair. Over the course of this cuddling tutorial, the two former castmates get into some ridiculous positions. At the same time, Stamos stays fully committed to delivering soft and sensual dialogue. And if you sleep with your eyes open, the Stamos way, you get to stare at her face all night long. We don't know how these two managed to keep straight faces during this incredibly surreal video. But we are thrilled the duo reunited to give us a cuddling guide that we will never forget. My snuggle fest guarantees that your woman will stay most cozy. I guarantee it. That's right. Number 7. Saget's spicy interview hiccup. Hot ones. Here I'm excited to be here. And everybody seemed excited when I walked in. People were in the hallway going, good luck. Like, I, what? Am I going to prison? Trying to pick the best part of Saget's Hot Ones interview was a daunting task. He gave us insightful information about his career, heartwarming stories, and looked at a few funny videos. In the end, the most funny part of the interview came after Saget consumed a particularly spicy wing. Despite drinking water to dull the heat, the comedian can't stop himself from hiccuping out of control. A hiccup. Yeah, good, happy, good. I'm glad happy. you checked that box instead of the others. My ears start bleeding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, here it comes. He makes jokes about his odd bodily reaction while trying to power through to the questions. It's fun to see Saget mine great comedic material out of a few awkward hiccups. While we definitely recommend watching every minute of this spicy conversation, this hot wing reaction is the most delicious interview moment. You took me from zero to 90. No, you took me from <laughs> zero, zero to, to 60. 60. I'm gonna hiccup a while. Don't so, make fun of it. Number six, a gritty Full House reboot. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Hey, ah. 
I'm sorry about my partner, Uncle Jesse. He's a loose cannon. How about uh, we give you a couple cheeseburgers? Maybe then you'll tell us where the drugs are coming. A couple cheeseburgers? A little over 20 years after Full House ended, the three leading men came together to give us a more adult version of the show. In this dark sketch, Danny, Uncle Jesse, and Uncle Joey all play tough detectives trying to get a confession out of a criminal played by Colbert. No, Jesse, enough with it. It didn't work. Leave this one to Popeye. I'll shatter your femurs. The video is full of amazing callbacks to the defining traits of each of their Full House characters. It also features an incredible line flub with Stamos that nearly brings the entire joke to a hilarious halt. While the whole premise is great, seeing Saget deliver one of his classic Danny Tanner inspirational monologues was the best part of the scene. But it's no excuse to break the law. I think you've learned an important lesson here today, Dimitri. <laughs> How about you come and move in with us and help me raise my daughters? We wish Netflix had greenlit this dark reimagining right alongside Fuller House. Number 5. Saget Takes a Shot at the Aristocrats Joke This is a joke about family, an entertainment family, not unlike the Cowsills or the Von Trapp family. I think a lot of people try to analyze what are the roots of this joke. I don't know anything. Within comedy circles, the aristocrats joke sees a comedian describe a family who puts on a stage show that's full of mature, filthy, and shocking acts. Saget was one of many people who delivered a version of the joke. During his take on the aristocrats, he struggles not to laugh while constantly throwing out beyond R-rated material. While this joke may be too much for some of his audiences, Saget had his own reason for performing it. But it really was about freedom of speech. I mean, Lenny Bruce went to jail for saying things that were said o overtly in that film. Hearing him talk about humor as a way to champion free speech makes revisiting his aristocrats take an interesting watch. Whether you laugh, cringe, or clap at his version of the infamous joke, his monologue reminds us that he was willing to push boundaries to make people smile. He said, my gift is my problem, which is I have no filter. I have no censor whatsoever. Number 4. Roast Rebuttal – Comedy Central Roast of Bob Saget Once a bunch of Bob Saget's friends and fellow comedians were done roasting him during this comedy special, he got an opportunity to speak his piece. The guest of honor immediately came out swinging at everyone who was sitting on stage. Saget's jokes range from stinging and specific to big and broad. I was concerned because it's, it's hard to make fun of my friends and the people I love, but luckily none of them are here. Although a few of his barbs are pretty savage, every single comedian can't help but laugh when they come under fire. Saget proved he was a roast master that could dish out insults as good as he got. Thanks to his sharp tongue and witty observations, he got some of the best laughs of the night. And I know this is going to be a hit show because I'm on it and we're going to edit out John Lovitz. Number 3. Saget's Spectacular Cameo – Half-Baked Half-Baked is a classic comedy that's full of scenes and moments that are still laughed at today. But no moment of the movie can measure up to Bob Saget's legendary cameo. During the movie, Dave Chappelle's Thurgood is speaking about his dependency on marijuana at a meeting. Hi, everyone. My name is Thurgood. Hi. Hi. Suddenly, Saget stands up and delivers a legendary rebuttal about how his problems are much worse. His short speech is so anti Danny Tanner that we can't even play one second of what he said for you here. No, no, I can't say I have. I didn't think so. Boo this man! So if you don't know how Saget stole the entire film with just a few lines, we highly recommend you watch Half-Baked for one of the best comedy punchlines of all time. I've been asked to do a lot of cameos and be the punchline in things, like in Half-Baked. Number 2. Salute to Boneheads – America's Funniest Home Videos How do you know if you're a bonehead, you might ask? Well, you're watching this show, aren't you? <laughs> you're not watching a documentary on fish. Long before we could jump on platforms like YouTube or TikTok to find hilarious home videos, Saget hosted a show where you could find a bunch of homemade shorts in one place. His Salute to Boneheads episode was arguably the peak of his America's Funniest Home Videos career. Saget throws out tons of jokes with lightning fast delivery while adding funny voices for good measure. That's the kind of public domain music I love to hear. I just can't stand all that rock and woo! <laughs> He's not afraid to throw in some physical comedy to shake things up. Although his jokes are nowhere near as raunchy as his stand-up, Saget still makes audiences of all ages chuckle. 
While he's not the only person who led this comedy clip show, we'll always remember him as one of the program's most gut-busting hosts. But don't let it stop here. No, boneheads are out there. Take one to lunch and take away all their sharp utensils. <laughs> On that note of love and respect, you keep those cameras safely rolling. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Being America's Dad – Full House For eight seasons, Saget played a neat freak named Danny Tanner, who raised his three daughters with his two closest friends. His eccentric obsession with keeping the house as clean as the G-rated comedy kept us laughing. Messy room? Problem for me? He even put jokes into his occasionally cheesy closing speeches. What made Saget's role as Danny Tanner so incredible to look back on is that he played against type the entire time. Karen, listen to me. I can open up a whole new world for you. A wondrous world of mops and brooms and dustbusters. His natural comedy style was to use colorful language to push the boundaries of good taste. But he reined all of that in so that entire families could sit down and laugh together. Saget's willingness to go from graphic jokes to G-rated punchlines made sure that he left an enduring mark on pop culture as America's Funniest Dad. Dad, Stephanie's gonna go nuts! I know. Am I the raddest, baddest dad a kid ever had? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.